Hi! In this video, I will briefly discuss the Claudin proteins and why they are emerging as promising targets for cancer research. This presentation focuses on Claudin-6 because it has garnered considerable attention as a potential therapeutic target due to its specific expression in several solid tumors. I will also show a molecular dynamic simulation of an antibody fragment interacting with Claudin-6. These simulations can reveal structure function relationships and also help identify key residues that may be involved in determining antibody antigen specificity. Such specificity is critical for developing safe and effective Claudin-based oncotherapeutics. Before we watch the molecular dynamic simulation, I will provide a brief overview of the Claudin family of proteins and why Claudin-6 has emerged as an appealing therapeutic target for treating many types of solid tumors. The 27 members of the Claudin family are widely distributed in different tissues and organs and have diverse expression properties. The Claudins are thought to be involved in signal transduction, and they may also play an important role in many aspects of tumorigenesis. A large amount of research data in recent years reveals that abnormal expressions of Claudins is associated with a variety of tumors. Because some Claudins are only expressed in certain cancer tissue types, but not healthy cells, they have become compelling targets for the treatment of tumors. The paracellular space between neighboring epithelial cells is sealed by several types of cell-cell junctions. One cell-cell junction shown here is called tight junctions. Claudins are the major integral membrane proteins that are essential for tight junction assembly. Dysregulated expression of claudins occurs in many of solid tumor malignancies. As will be shown later, Claudin-6, for example, shows high and specific expression in several solid tumor types and thus is attracting a lot of interest as a therapeutic target. So now let's zoom into the cell membrane in the previous diagram and show some of the structural similarities of the Claudins. This cartoon shows structural motifs shared by Claudin proteins. Here we can see the Claudins have four transmembrane domains and two extracellular loops. Each extracellular loop also contains a variable region, beta strands, and an extracellular helix. Since the Claudin's transmembrane domains are shielded by the lipid bilayer, the extracellular loops are primary sites of antibody interaction. Further understanding of the structure and key residues in the extracellular loops involved in the antibody-antigen interaction can help explain binding specificity between Claudin members. However, research on the advanced structure of Claudin sticks is still in its infancy. Because the Claudins share a high degree of structural and sequence homology, generating antibodies with high specificity exclusively to Claudin-6 has been challenging. One essential criterion to the development of safe therapeutic antibodies is high specificity to Claudin-6. The ideal antibody would react exclusively to tumor cells expressing Claudin-6 while showing no cross-reactivity to other Claudins that are expressed in healthy tissues. In cases where the structure of the protein antibody complex is not known, molecular models can be created and molecular dynamic simulations can be run to help elucidate important structural relationship, key determining antibody binding specificity to Claudin-6. As previously mentioned, Claudin-6 is an appealing target for the development of oncotherapeutics because it is differentially expressed on cancer cells with no reported expression in normal, healthy adult tissue. For example, in a recent publication, analysis of mRNA data from the Cancer Genomics Atlas was performed by McDermott et al. 
to identify antigens as potential suitable targets for the development of antibody-based ba antibody therapeutics. The authors found that Claudin-6 displayed a diverse expression pattern across the 30 cancers comprising data set. While there was limited to no expression in most cancers, Claudin-6 was highly expressed in testicular, ovarian, and endometrial cancers. Thus, the development of antibodies to Claudin-6 may offer potential as a treatment for patients whose tumors are Claudin-6 positive. In fact, there are several drugs targeting Claudin-6 in clinical and preclinical stages. The various approaches to treating Claudin-6 positive solid tumors include using chimeric antigen receptor, CAR-T. The various approaches to treating Claudin-6 positive solid tumors include using chimeric antigen receptor, CAR-T therapy. Another approach are antibody drug conjugates. Here is a monoclonal antibody directed against the tumor-associated antigen Claudin-6 in solid tumors. Toral-123 is another Claudin-6-targeted antibody drug conjugate being evaluated for safety and anti-tumor activity in patients with advanced cancer. BNT142 lipid nanoparticle encapsulated RNAs that encode for a bispecific antibody against Claudin-6 and the T-cell receptor-associated molecule CD3 is being tested for Claudin-6-positive tumors. AMG794, a bispecific antibody targeting CD3 and Claudin-6, is in clinical phase 1 for a variety of cancers and carcinomas. Several other bispecific antibody drugs targeting Claudin-6 are in preclinical phase. Thus, there has been considerable interest by several companies using various approaches to develop antibody-based therapeutics targeting Claudin-6. In order to gain further insight into which protein domains and amino acid residues are essential for antibody binding specificity, molecular dynamic simulations can be used. Here, a biological ensemble was created consisting of putative structures of a FAB antibody fragment and Claudin-6 protein and a bilayer composed of mixed lipids. Starting with the atomic coordinates from the protein crystal structure of 6OV3 from the protein data bank, a putative 3D Claudin-6 structure was generated by mutating key residues in Claudin-9. The mutated structure was energy minimized, then further refined using protein homology recognition engine. Shown here in magenta ribbon structure is the hypothetical construct for Claudin-6 that was used as the starting structure for the molecular dynamic simulation studies. A similar approach was used to predict and generate the 3D structure for the hypothetical anti-Claudin-6 FAB fragment, shown here as green and cyan ribbon representations. The FAB construct was positioned near the extracellular variable loop regions in Claudin-6 using reasonable approximations based on known antibody antigen structures. The transmembrane domains of Claudin-6 were then embedded in a mixed lipid bilayer, shown here in light blue and white licorice representations. Finally, the biomolecular construct was solvated by TIP3 water molecules, shown here as red and white lines. Here is another rendition with the lipid bilayer shown as a surface representation. And for a bit more clarity, water and lipid molecules in front of the protein have been hidden to reveal Claudin-6 embedded in the membrane as well as the relative positions of the biomolecules. 
Using this 50,000 atomic ensemble, molecular dynamic simulations were performed in Google Collab Pro using OpenMM software, an NVIDIA T4 GPU to perform the calculations throughout the trajectory of the simulation. An NVIDIA T4 GPU was used to perform the calculations throughout the equilibration and trajectory of the simulation. For clarity, here is a morph of the trajectory. Note the motion of the extracellular domains and rotation of several key epitope residues during the antibody binding. Thus, molecular dynamic simulations can be used to elucidate structure activity relationships involved in antibody antigen binding. These studies can provide atomic level insight toward understanding the mechanism of interaction and help inspire design strategies for novel therapeutic antibodies with high specificity that can ultimately improve clinical outcomes.